Is uh, Dr. Aslam, are you ready? I think yes, you are. Excellent. Can we go with Dr. Aslam then, please? As we have already know what you are going to present. So let me welcome from Dr. Aslam to his speech for the day. Thank you. Uh, can, you, can you hear me, please? Yes, absolutely fine. Yes, yes. Oh, thank fine. you very much. Thank you very much. I apologize for the inadvertent delay. Uh, the assignment given to me uh, during this ACS and ACS GM 2021 is regarding deliberations on need for translational and contextual research in Pakistan. Now, first question is, what does translational research mean? Translational research builds on basic research advances, studies on biological processes using cell culture or animal model to use those to develop new therapies or medical procedures. Uh, what is the objective of the translational research that is to translate, that is transfer or move basic science discoveries into practice quickly and efficiently? And then what, are, what could be the possible difference between contents and context? Now content is material that you can share with your audience. Content can be big blog posts, videos, cell sheets, product descriptions, case studies, and the like. Whereas the context is the setting or circumstances in which a person sees your context or relevance that gives it a meaning. So content is a material and context is the relevance. Now medical science, as we all know, is the branch of science concerned with the study of knowing, underpinning principles, diagnosis, treatment, and prevention of the diseases. When we say contextual, that means the relevance to the country, to the village, to the region, and to the oceans or to the global. So now in Pakistani perspective, so Pakistani perspective is what is the population? Pakistan population is around 200,000 million. And per capita income is around 2,700 US dollars per annum. And life expectancy for male is 64, and for female is 64, and for the males, it is 64 years. And infant mortality rate is 64 per 1,000 lives. Now, if we look at the relevance or the context of the causes of death in Pakistan, so ischemic heart disease has got 8%, cancers have got 8%, lower respiratory tract infections, 8%, stroke, 6%, diarrheal diseases, 6%, and neonatal encephalopathy, 5%, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, 5%, Tuberculosis, 5%. Preterm birth complications is 4%. And diabetes is around 3%. So that means the relevance or the context, like in context to the diseases, we have to divide now. If we look according to the WHO and CDC, the list of prevalent diseases in Pakistan includes now out of in, in intestinal infections, common are the cholera, typhoid, dysentery, food poisoning, diarrhea, worm infestations, unidentified intestinal infections. And then in tuberculosis, mainly it is pulmonary tuberculosis prevalent in Pakistan, but other respiratory part, and then there's a central nervous system and meningitis as part of tuberculosis, and then are the bone and joints tuberculosis and could be some other organs. Now in the bacterial diseases in Pakistan, the common are diphtheria, whooping cough, 
tetanus and others, and out of viral diseases, now acute poliomyelitis. So it is, it is getting eradicated, but in Pakistan and Afghanistan, it has not been 100% eradicated. It is over 99% eradicated up till so far. And then is the mumps, rabies, measles, chickenpox, smallpox, viral hepatitis. Now, COVID-19, according to the law, in, for the last two years and its variant, like, and other diseases. And out of bone diseases, like arthropods and rickettsiosis, is malaria and other arthropods bone diseases. Now in venereal diseases, syphilis, though it has been, though it has been very much minimized, but it has not completely, and then is the AIDS, autoimmune deficiency syndrome, and out of malignancy could be of any region, digestive organ, respiratory, bone tissue. Now common is of breasts in the female and prostate cancers in the male, or could be of any other organs. Now the diseases in South Asia and more so in Pakistan, in endocrine diseases is diabetes mellitus, some of the disorders of the thyroid gland, especially myxodema and other metabolic disorders and immunity disorders are prevalent. Out of the series of the blood diseases in Pakistan and in the region, anemia, leukemias and others, out of nervous system, it is paralysis, which is stroke, or cardiovascular accidents, and then is non-tuberculosis, meningitis, and then is epilepsy and Parkinson's disease. Now, diseases of the cardiovascular system, which are contextual or prevalent, include acute rheumatic fever, hypertensive diseases, ischemic heart disease, heart attack, which is heart failure, and hemorrhoids. Out of the respiratory system, the commonest are in the region, pneumonia, bronchial asthma, influenza, bronchitis, pleurisy, and other diseases. In the digestive system, some form of ulcers, and then is intestinal obstruction, appendicitis, hernia, jaundice, and some other related disorders. In the urinary system, nephritis, and kidney failures, and other urinary diseases. In terms of maternal deaths occur due to abortions, or complications during pregnancy and the related conditions. Now, congenital anomalies or deformities, now born weak. Now, it is a study that 30 to 40% is the stunted growth in some rural areas of hard areas of the region and all other diseases found in the children. And then there's accidents, injuries, and poisoning. Now, in poisoning of drugs or of biological material, or other solids or liquids, then burns, suicide, homicidal murders, accidental falls, drowning, mountain sickness, because Nepal, Pakistan have got uh, six, seven biggest mountains in, of, the, of the world, roof of the world, and then as the cord injuries, sunstroke, sports injuries, snake bites, or scorpion bite, and the other diseases. And then is, signs and symptoms of some ill-defined conditions, unqualified fever for which the cause is not known, senility or dementia, and some ill-defined conditions. Now, there are certain social evils. They are social evils, but they are not less than disease, but which are prevalent in Pakistan and around area, like excessive smoking, especially in the young. It is getting oh, momentum even in the females, intoxications of various materials, and then is locally pan, naswar, or gutka, or something, people chew it, or take it, or snuff it, and get intoxicated. So the take home message is that translational research may be made customized and contextualized to the pattern of ailment to bring wellness or healthcare for all within the constraint region. So that means that translational. Research is fine, but translational research needs to be made contextualized and customized according to the village, according to the country, according to the region, and according to the area where the community lives for betterment of all. Uh, with these words, I thank you very much for your patient listening. Thank you.
Thank you, Prof. Dr. Aslam, for illuminating us with an enlightened thought probing issues how to contextualize a medical research into perspective uh, focusing on Afghanistan and Pakistan, and of course, within the region of Southern Asia. And uh, uh, I would like to welcome the next presenter and next speaker, keynote speaker, Dr. Shoiva Aftab, who is working as an assistant professor at ISAB University of Karachi, Pakistan. So without further delay, let us welcome Dr. Shoiva to deliver her 